Ooh, my favorite video game ever? Of all time or as of currently? Um, I think I go old school with uh, Mario Kart. Favorite video game? Um, I don't know. I think probably I would say Call of Duty. Because I like killing people. It's pretty rad. Super Smash Bros. Because it's kind of like a party game, it inspires kind of cool. Um, Mario Kart. On the Wii though. On the Wii? Why? Only on the Wii. Uh, right now it's probably Fallout 3. It's expansive, immersive, and like has like 90 something hours of gameplay or something. MLB baseball? No, this is kind of my favorite sport, kind of. <laughs> Paperboy. You've got obstacles, you've got dogs chasing after you and potholes, and then it's because it's old, it's hypersensitive, so even though you think you're nowhere near the car that came at you, you still get hit. Pokemon Pinball. I like World of Warcraft. Is that considered a video game? Because you get to play with like other people. It beats playing with yourself. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever wanted to be a paper delivery person in a really weird neighborhood, I doubt it. I think Super Smash Brothers is definitely it involves a lot of brain power due to strategic elements involving it, but I think there's a lot of video games that require some of my favorites, generally to do with, with like in strategy and some kind of puzzles, which I think are beneficial for people. Um, uh, educational, like no, I guess like Frogger's educational, some shit, because like you could like do math and stuff and like learn how to spell like cat and, and shit like that. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I guess a lot of games have to do with like strategy and just like. I guess, yeah, playing with other people and usually there's like a goal and stuff, so. Um, for the most part, no, but I think they can be. Like, if you make it with the right purpose. No. No, why no? I just think they're dumb. I mean, as far as hand-eye coordination goes, I guess, yeah, but puzzle solving, I don't think many video games have to do with puzzles. It's more like shoot this person or drive around this course and win all the stars. I don't know. No. Well, yes but only about themselves. I'm not saying it's impossible to make an educational game, I just don't think it's done that often. Um, but for example, like Red Dead Redemption, I think they tried to go for realism there, and they, uh, they had like, everything was based on real locations, but I mean, a young kid could think that that was actually like the layout of what the West is like, but I don't know. Oh yeah, well yeah, yeah, yeah. Like games like ICO, or ISO, um, yeah, problem solving, definitely, Zelda. Um, and with the move, there, yeah, there's plenty of capabilities. And are you talking about like exercise, like muscle memory kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think it can be. I mean, I've heard of like brain age or whatever that supposedly trains your mind, but you know, it's no more educational than sitting down and reading a book would be. It's the same level. Yeah, it is actually, it's a pretty educational game. More educational than most, I would think. Yeah. You know, less about how to kill people, more about how to maneuver, get around things, problem solving, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Portal 2 right now, <laughs> definitely. Depends on the video game. Sometimes they give you like hand, it develops your hand-eye coordination, which is a good skill to have yeah. if you're a functioning adult. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah? Grab the Tato. Maybe like with architecture and stuff like that. <laughs> educational? Definitely. Yeah? Why? Well, I realize that's why I take pictures now. Because of that game. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> um, I don't, I foresee the graphics getting better. I foresee the interfaces becoming more motion oriented, like, um, like the Wii, I guess. Um, just, just generally that direction. I think that it's going to become more integrated with actual body movements. And I guess that's healthy for like the general, you know, health movement is better than non-movement. So, oh, I think it's a, it's clearly on an upward, uh, up, upward circuit. I think as they get more immersive, they, I can see where people will see the danger in them more, but I also see where the benefits of them will just be so much more because of what they can do in creating a realistic environment and uh, emotional experience for a gamer. The future? Okay, I'm predicting um I'm predicting a game room, which is uh it's like it's like a like a tent kind of, but like it has wires in it that like spring up. So like you could just spring up this like little room 
and then there's like a projector and it like projects the video game so you're like surrounded in the game. It's gonna be awesome. Um, probably even more interactive with like your whole body movement probably, but I think that the concept will always be the same. More interactive, like the full suit, um, the weird sci-fi 80s movies, the, you know, kind of the cell kind of thing where you're floating in like uh. a you know, whole body green room thing, which uh, scares me a little. Where the game is real life and video games are just your boring, normal day job. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I think like it's like reached like the end, and they're just gonna start like doing the same stuff and just charging more money. I don't know. I guess uh, future of video games gotta be, uh, you know, virtual reality. Virtual reality. A uh, virtual reality. I'm saying. I'm gonna say virtual reality is the future of video games, definitely, hands down. Oh, fuck it. But I mean, I don't know. I like playing with my friends and stuff. Like, going online is pretty rad. You get to, like, hang out with people and, like, and just game with them. So it's like, it's like, almost like you're in the arcade, but you're not. And it's mad cheap. So, like, that's what I'm all about. That's pretty sick. Um, I mean, I think the per- if, like, if the person's violent in general, like, if he's, like, a violent person, he plays video games, obviously he's gonna promote it because he's a violent person. But if someone's, like, calm, it won't, like, transform into some, like, demon or something, you know what I mean? So, I mean, like, I think it just depends on the person, and I don't know, maybe if you're young, I don't know, I, I, like, I guess I started when I was young, I'm not really violent, so. Being someone who has played video games and, and has been into them and continues to be, I don't find I'm a more aggressive person because of it. I think if anything, it's a, a, a good way of getting out your aggression. Um. What? I think it helps me get aggression out. I'm kind of small and I can't really fight people in real life but like I can become someone else. I can live vicariously through a digital person. It's, not, it's nice. I'm not convinced. Really? I'm like, I'm gonna attack you. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, hi guys. What's your favorite video game? Oh, uh, shit. We're on that, man. Two. <laughs> Proactive people will start playing video games. Attractive people do play video games. I play video games. Well, I don't, so. I guess that makes me more attractive than you. <laughs> I think that there's always been media, be it writing or movies or drawing, you know, spaghetti westerns or whatever that promotes violence. It's just an innate need for like teenage boys or whatever to experience action. You know, we can't hunt, so we hunt in virtual world. I think that if you're whack in the head, it'll promote it. But if you're just a regular Joe, it's just gonna, you know, it's just enjoyable. It's just the same as playing soccer. I think that uh, video games really don't get enough credit for the amount of narrative that they have because, like, for instance, Halo, there's a huge narrative behind it, which is one of the most well-constructed, like, science fiction narratives that I've ever really seen. I'm a big science fiction fan. So I think that it's more or less that people don't get into the narratives that already exist. The, you know, the creators of the game create this really complex narrative, and most people don't dive into it as much as they could. I think that everything you do should be in moderation. Obviously, if you do anything too much, then it's gonna end in disaster. Um, but I think that a, a book uses your imagination more than a video game. A video game, I feel like you turn on the TV to play a video game and you turn your brain off. Whereas a book, you have to be really focused and paying attention the whole time. Um, I also just think for society as a whole that people talking about books would be better than people talking about video games.